Hi, hello there. Um, just before this video begins, I thought um, something happened recently that really ties nicely into this video, so I thought I would mention it. Mild potential spoilers ahead, I don't know. Um, so, if you have been living under a rock, I will fill you in on what's going on. Um, so the 60th anniversary is still currently filming, and just the other day, the whole Noble Clan and the Doctor were spotted on set, so it was definitely filming for the 60th, and there was a new cool monster spotted on set. Look at that, wow, it looks like it's something from Rick and Morty. And then intriguingly enough, there was another monster spotted on set, um, and it looked like a bunny rabbit. Now, when I first saw this bunny rabbit thing on Twitter, I was like, okay, that's, that's fake. This is like Russell T Davis trying to throw us all off because he knows we've been filming heaps of stuff. Um, whether we should be or not, that's a whole different discussion. But the production team are fully aware of all the hype and buzz that we've been creating online um, from all of these uh, set pictures and set leaks. So when I saw this online, I was like, mm, okay, this this, this could be just them having a having a fun game with us, you know, how ridiculous is that? But Doctor Who was pretty ridiculous. And then a few hours later on Twitter, I saw that Beep the Meep was trending. If you don't know what Beep the Meep is, don't worry, because I had no idea what it is either. But apparently it's a Doctor Who villain from a uh, comic, a really old Doctor Who comic um, that is like... Uh, this weird rabbit of death. And look, it very well could be this Beep the Meep character. I feel like I have a video on this this individual later. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below if you think that Beep the Meep is back for the 60th anniversary. Anyway, let's get into the video. We're talking about some fake Doctor Who leaks. When something leaks from Doctor Who, um, it usually doesn't end up being true. So today we're going to talk about some of my favorite ridiculous fake leaks and fake rumors from Doctor Who. So sit back, relax and enjoy the show, folks. Hello, Whovians. Chris Piper here, and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a good day, because I'm having a cracking day, because we're going to talk about some Doctor Who fake leaks. I found some incredible stuff from the site you may know as uh, Reddit. Oh boy, there are some funny fake leaks and some fake rumors from throughout the years that um, I can't believe people believed, and I can't believe I believed, so... Yeah, stick around for that. But before we get into it, hey, why not consider subscribing to the channel? I would really appreciate that. Um, and I really do appreciate all the love on the channel recently. Uh, please like the video as it does help the algorithm. And I have a Doctor Who podcast called Who's There? Okay, I hate doing all the housekeeping, but I have to do it. All right, let's talk about some fake leaks. Uh, this thread was posted a year ago by user Doctor Who was a thing. David Bradley's first Doctor is in the vault. Suspect that was a decoy leak put out to work out who was leaking. But it makes me excited in a way that the predictable Missy in the vault and the first doctor is on the South Pole don't. Oh, well, there you go. There's another example of a decoy leak because this is something that the, the, the BBC do um, that I didn't really know about until Russell kind of confirmed that, oh yeah, he's been messing with all of us. I'm pretty sure, 99% sure that it was Russell who put forth the Hugh Grant is the next doctor rumor. I, I could, I'll put some money on it. I read that the 13th doctor would be revealed in the Husbands of River Song and there wasn't an actor, but he would wear a blue suit and a peacoat and his companion was Cara Delevingne. I can't find it now, but it was confidently written for something that seemed very unlikely. What? <laughs> Sorry, what? I've heard I've heard a lot of like Cara Delevingne rumors. I don't know why she keeps getting associated with the, the show. I don't think she's ever spoken publicly about Doctor Who. But there was a massive rumor, and I think this was somewhat confirmed that the Husbands of River Song might have been like uh, Stephen Moffat's last episode. So, you know, if, I don't know. I don't know, anyway. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that was a big sneeze. Percy the cat. We need more cats in the TARDIS DBH. This one is one of my all time favorites because it was such a thing on like um, George George's channel, Ace Creeper. Um, it was such a big rumor and we never got Percy the cat. Everyone was like certain that Percy the cat was going to be like the TARDIS cat for Jody. Um, but no, no, it was not. Instead, we got a big Dog boy. Not a rumor as such, but appropriate as it's Easter, I guess. During filming of Planet of the Dead, a set source raved that the Tritravors would become as iconic and memorable as the Daleks and the Cybermen. You're talking about the, the fly things? There is an actual article here from the mirror from 2009. Oh my God. A set source said script writers are confident they'll make a huge impact. Everyone remembers the Daleks and the Cybermen. The trite of all will change that. They are disgusting and will last long in the memory. <laughs> that is so funny. I mean, I can't even, I don't even remember how to say their name if that talks about how impactful they were. 
Jeez Louise, that is funny. I love that. Husbands of Riversong would be Capaldi's last episode. In series 10 would be Tilda Swinton having regenerated off screen. Once again, like Tilda Swinton has been in the Doctor Who rumor mill for ages. I'd love for Tilda to be on screen somewhere in Doctor Who, but I don't I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't think it's gonna happen. All right, and I also found another thread um, called Weirdest Doctor Who Rumor You've Heard Over the Years. This is from four years ago and it's by user Z, Z Panda 66 Harriet Jones is going to be the red Dalek from the series 4 trailer What? Harriet Jones, former Prime Minister Yes, we know who you are Love, settle down I think around series 6 The Mirror ran an article claiming that Amy would get pregnant And the Doctor would have to figure out who the father was With potential candidates including a Dalek and a Cyberman And then someone replies This adds too many questions It does add too many questions It does Cause how would a Dalek How does a Cyberman And why? That Sia is gonna sing the series 11 theme song I'd never heard this one, but you know, as an Aussie, I can respect that. Baby, I want more Doctor Who to go out tonight. I love Doctor Who. The Weeping Angels are disgraced Time Lords. There's actually quite a bit to like these kind of theories because I remember in the end of time, the Rassilon's kind of like the Weeping Angels of old. And you know, there's, there's those Time Lords that are like this. I don't know, there might be something to it. I, if, if Russell T does bring back the Weeping Angels, I feel like he might do like an origin story. Don't know how I feel about that, but that might be something he did, he does. Yeah. Probably the theory that Moffat hated Doctor Who and intentionally wrote it badly in an attempt to get it cancelled. Well, he really buggered up that, didn't he? Because he's got like some of the best reviewed episodes of Doctor Who ever. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven out of ten of these are written by Stephen Moffat. So, I mean, a lot of people give Moffat hate, but look, look at that. Look at that nonsense. But yeah, so there are some of my favorite leaked ones. Um, I'm pretty sure if you look at my video I did last year talking about like um, all of kind of like series 13's leaks, I'm pretty sure all of them ended up being false. Like Omega is never gonna return. It may be one day, but I just feel like Omega gets brought up every season. What else is in that video? Let me, let me have a look. It's very funny to look back on. The master is in fact the timeless child. I don't know. I don't know. We haven't seen the, as of time of recording, I haven't seen the centenary special. I mean, there was a leak that the Jadoon prison plot will return. I don't think that's going to return at all. Like, it'd be kind of weird if that was in the centenary. There was a leak that the 14th Doctor is going to be female. David Tennant isn't female. <laughs> Kidding. Uh, we don't know if David Tennant's the 14th Doctor. I made a video on that. You should check it out. But yeah, that might do it for today. Please let me know in the comments below um, what your favorite fake leak was or if you know of any more like fake Doctor Who rumors um, or ridiculous Doctor Who rumors, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to read them um, and there'd be some interesting ones. And if there's enough, I might make a follow up. We'll see. Please like this video and subscribe if you have not already. I'm really appreciating all the love on the channel right now. Um, and check out the podcast. It's pretty fun. We've got a lot of episodes up now and you guys seem to really dig that too um and we're trying to get to 500 subscribers anyway hope you're all doing well um and i'll see you soon that's pretty much it allons -y.